it's really easy to find these old frames, whether it's at car boot sales or second hand or even just handed down through the family. And quite often they'll have old prints, these reproduction prints in them. Um, they might have been old mirrors or they might have been broken. However, they're great frames and it's really nice to be able to reuse them if we can. You can pick these up for 50p, a pound, and they're nice solid frames and it'd be really good to reuse and repurpose some of these. These two are slightly larger. These are solid oak Victorian frames and once these are finished they'll give a really nice traditional look to any print or photo. So this is a typical sort of um, thing you might find at a second hand sale or car boot and it's a nice solid frame, gilt frame and we've got a reproduction print in here. So first things first is to remove the tape. I've done that already but there's normally old brown tape um, on the back here. So just run your knife around and rip that off. Next you want to remove any of the pins. Now sometimes they'll be the normal tacks. Uh, in this case someone's used staples so we'll pull those out first. So once we've taken all those staples out, um, all the retaining pins, we can push the print through. If there's glass, you need to be nice and careful. This is just a, an oil type print on board. And we've got one left in there, so we'll just pull that out. Um, you can see how much this is faded and discolored in the UV light. Um, do what you want with that, but put that to one side. There are a couple more in here that I just need to pull out. Is just to take a knife and trim off any of that tape that may be left around the edge. I'm going to run your finger around lightly to see if there's any of the metal um, pins left in there because we don't want to scratch any of the glass or mirror when we put that in. So the next thing you want to do is measure this rebate on the back and this is where your print or glass will sit in. So you're measuring from the furthest edge, not the inside edge. So you measure that across and that is the size you need to cut your glass and your backboard and also the outside edge of your mount if you're using one. So here's another frame that we're taking apart. Um, this one didn't have a print in it uh, but it's still got some of these nails original panel pins that would have been holding in the glass and also um, the old cord on the back. Just remove these pins. So that frame's also ready for the glass and the new mounted print. So this frame is for a client of ours. Um, they have a country restaurant and use a lot of these old frames. So we're going to frame a few of our photos from a recent shoot and get them dropped off over there to hang with the others. So we've got our print now. We just need to cut this to size ready for our mount. Put your print mounted if you're using a mount. Um, you then want to get the glass ready. Now if you're cutting your own glass got a couple of options um, you can either use a, a carbide tipped scribe like this or a normal glass cutting wheel and simply scoring the glass and then giving it a snap but there's lots of other videos on that so I'm not going to go into that at the moment uh, and I use kitchen towel just because it doesn't create the the fluff or the dust like a normal tissue would just give a light spray this is just some um, glass cleaner some mild glass cleaner um, and what we're going to do is just wipe over just to make sure there's no fingerprints. So this is the inside of the glass. And just fold over just to make sure there's no moisture left on the glass at all. And again, just hold it up to the light and just to double check that. So we're now putting that clean side 
of the glass down onto our piece of work. And at this point, it's best to just hold it up and just go around now and just check nice and carefully if we've trapped anything between the glass. A little wipe over. We've then got a piece of backing board which is cut the same size as the glass, same size as the mount. So we've got the glass, the mount, which has the print in it, and the board on the back. Once your glass and print's in, have a really good check over just to make sure there's nothing sandwiched between the glass and the mount. And then flip it over so you've got the back facing up. Now the rebate of this frame is not that deep, so we've only got literally about one mil uh, to get the fasteners in. Um, that should be okay if we're using the uh, tap gun. This is a little tab gun, very similar to a, how a staple gun would work, but it shoots in the little uh, flexible tabs that go on the back. If you're using something slightly heavier duty, such as a large mirror, you can get the rigid tabs, um, but these are perfect for these small type of frames. So because we've only got that one mil reveal, I'm just gonna have to angle down slightly just so we can get the tab under the surface of the wood. I'm just going to tape up over these tabs just to give it a nice clean finish on the back. Light, very, very lightly score and tear the tape on each of these corners. Now these really light, these are very small lightweight frames, so I'm just going to use these little simple eyelets. Um, otherwise I tend to use these little brass ones which pivot slightly and just allow you to put a slightly bigger screw in there. So we use normal picture hanging string and I norm normally measure about two a little bit, just so we've got some excess to work with. And again, this is just how I do it. It's probably not the right knot to do, but I do a knot and then twist it to lock it off. And then tie a single knot around each side. To hold them together as two, and then one last simple knot to finish them off. And smooth that over the loose ends. And that just gives you a little bit of a V if you're hanging. You don't want it too tight and you also don't want it so slack that it shows above the top of your frame. Here's the next print that we've done. Uh, this was a hardwood frame, uh, I think it's oak, so it's a little bit harder to work with when you're putting in the fastenings on the back, but apart from that, exactly the same process. So here we are, all packaged up, ready to go back to the restaurant. And one thing I didn't mention is these frames are actually found in the attic of the, the pub itself. So these would have once hung in the same walls that they're going back to. 